How is she still alive? It's a question that Connie and Glenn Morgan have asked repeatedly since their daughter Kristen Hopkins was found on Sunday in her wrecked car upside down in a ravine off of Highway 285 in Park County. When we got the call as to where she was, we were thinking we have no idea why she was there, none whatsoever. Hopkins lives with her two parents. They say she works two jobs, and when she didn't come home for some time, they began driving around Douglas County looking for her. Everything runs through your mind. But when word came on Sunday that Hopkins had been found alive, her parents say they knew her survival instincts kicked in, including the messages asking for help that she wrote on an umbrella. She had a plan, you know, and, and, and the plan basically was, I've got to stay alive, and how do I do that? That's where the umbrella came into play. And it's just amazing that she was able to think of something like that. Because she doesn't give up. Mm -hmm. She doesn't give she up. She doesn't give up. It's a perseverance that her parents say Hopkins will need now as well. Both her feet had to be amputated. She faces another surgery related to that on Friday. She is awake, but so far has not been able to speak because of a breathing tube. She has quite a ways to go. As for the couple who found their daughter, the Morgans say they can't wait to meet them and be able to say thank you to them in person soon. I'm going to hug them. I mean, basically, you know. First I'll start crying, then I'll hug them. <laughs> there are angels. There really are.